a very unique place because there are a lot of things rolled into one. Not only are we a working homestead that's mostly sustainable where we produce all of our own eggs, our own dairy, our own meats, our own vegetables, but we really like to bring people in and pull in the community to show them what it's like to be sustainable and that it's actually very possible and, and pretty easy if, if you're working with the community. Um, another thing that we do that's pretty exciting is that my husband's moved about 40 historic buildings here from five neighboring counties and he's restored them all mostly to their original use so we are in the process and pretty far along in creating a working 19th century village. I have a long family history of farming. Richfield used to be all farms when I was young. Now it's the freeways have come through, it's gotten built up so I started collecting equipment before it was it disappeared and I don't like having equipment outside so then I collected buildings to put the equipment in and then it just sort of got away from me. We keep the buildings uh, to their original use. So the schoolhouse was the schoolhouse in Abbeville. So when you come here, there's always a lot of different things to see. We have a lot of animals. We have chickens, pigs, cows, bunnies, uh, etc., goats, sheep. We do a lot of homeschooling events. I teach them homesteading classes on things uh, like cheese making, I do soap making, wild plant use, and just some heritage skills. Um, a lot of the stuff that's kind of being lost with each generation. So we really try to bring the past to the present and show people that it's really a good way to live and it just it's kind of a nice, fun place to visit. There's nothing more fun than raising the kids and homeschooling them and teaching them what my parents taught me and what my great, 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 great grandfather uh, taught his kids. We really put a lot of value and importance on the home and in raising families and teaching them a sustainable way to live so that you don't just have to go to the grocery store to get your vegetables, for example. Um, and in homeschooling, we think it's very important to give kids responsibilities. We think it makes them feel like valued members of the household. I mean, Leah here is just my right-hand lady. She, she's helping with everything. She helps wash the kids. They churn butter. They feed the animals. They rake grass. Um, they actually, they're kind of entrepreneurs, so a lot of the stuff you'll see in the shop is stuff that they've made and they like to sell. Um, so it just, it really makes good members of society when you start raising them up from, uh, from a young age. So I make a lot of lye soaps and actually you can find those in our general store every day that I sell. And so a lot of, like we'll render our own tallows, all of our colorants are just plant-based and we like to do everything as natural as we can. So that also rolls over to the class that we teach which is a, um, a wild plant identification where we'll talk about wild edibles, wild medicinals, and go on a walk to actually find you know, how they grow and in their habitat and actually utilizing those either for food or for medicine. And we do these for all ages. We do children, we do adults, we do uh, like private classes for families. We really enjoy saving history, but we really even more so enjoy teaching it and showing other people it and um, helping the children in particular to begin to have an appreciation of how much times have changed and how many things there are for them to learn besides buttons. I feel like there's such a disconnect today with city people and you know and the earth and trying to figure out where things come from and so to be able to bring people in and say you know kids will be six or seven year olds to come they've never really even seen a cow. Um, it's really nice for them to be able to see that it's a very attainable lifestyle.